Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is this morning's pickups from the boot sale. Uh, as usual, just going to share with you uh, the items that I got. So, uh, picked up a number of sevens today, 50p each, and a few albums at a pound each. But uh, let's have a quick look. First up, Rolling Stones, going to a go go. Obviously, this is a 45. Nice picture sleeve. In fact, I picked these up because they're they're sort of all pictures, pretty much picture sleeves, and they're really clean. So that's Rolling Stones. Then uh, Rolling Stones, waiting on a friend. Rolling Stones again. Emotional Rescue. Don't normally buy a lot of sevens, but um, as I say, the picture sleeve sold it to me. Rolling Stones, start me up. Quite a nice condition, all of these. Mesa Forte, Garden Party. The Lotus Eaters, the first picture of you. Again, I picked these up because um, they're not the sort of uh, picture sleeves I see that often in the scheme of things. Motorhead Girls School. St. Valentine's Day Massacre. The Swords of a Thousand Men. So let's say Temple, Temple Tudor. Uh, Temple Tudor, another one. Uh, Temple Tudor again. They just looked interesting, so I picked them up, 50p each. Uh, the Kinks come dancing. Uh, the Kinks, you really got me. Eaton Rifles, the Jam. And that covers a little bit more damaged, a little bit creased. Uh, the jam, that's entertainment. The jam going underground. The big one, Judge Dread on the Trojan label. The jam. Oh, two copies of this. Actually, yeah, the reason I got two copies was uh, they're slightly different. That's on like a injection moulded red label. And this was on an injection moulded silver. So uh, I just took them both. Uh, jam again. Jam again, Strange Town. And then we got uh, the alarm. Alarm again. This one is past, present, and future. Cindy and the Saffrons. Interesting looking cover. The Creatures. Another interesting looking cover. Don't know what it is. Sometimes you just have to buy these interesting covers. Uh, Betty Wright. Rock on, baby. Rock on. This looks like uh, this is a. Uh, if I ever do wrong, the reason I picked this up is like a US uh, 45. Don't see loads of US 45s, and it looks soulful. So, and then uh, this was a, uh, a demonstration record. Freddie Cole on the Decca label, isn't she lovely? The fact it was a, a demo, I thought I'd pick it up. So that's the 45s, and then uh, these are a pound each. I've got Black Sabbath, Live at Last. That's an LP. Uh, Kate Bush, this one's unfortunately a bit beaten up, but uh, uh, some good tracks on it, the whole story, gatefold, some damage and wear on it, but uh, it's got some really nice tracks on it, um, and obviously uh, running up that hill from the recent uh, Stranger Things uh, series. Another Craftwork LP, uh, Radioactivity, ra Radioactivity, I think. Again, Craftwork, Electrokinetic. Craftwork, uh, Man Machine. That's quite a nice condition, that one. You should see this a lot, but don't see it as much anymore. Uh, but that's quite a clean copy. And then, I think this is the last one. This is a Craftwork Trans Euro Express. Um, the only thing I know about this, really, is... Uh, 
the uh, I think it's Planet Rock, which was um, like an electro hip hop tune back in the day. I think it sampled this. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's today's pickups. Uh, LPs are a pound each, and the uh, singles are fifty p each. So um, yeah, some of them I just sort of bought for the covers, but uh, yeah, they're nice condition. So uh, a result really. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.